Death. It's a grave topic that's often easier to avoid than to prepare for. Perhaps one of our biggest fears is, is death and, and uh, how do we prepare to, to face our fear and how do we walk that journey with each other. Everyone in the family very naturally wants to do what's best for their loved one and they may not know what that loved one wants. In our time, in our culture, in our society, too often some of those con conversations aren't happening. This team of experts, coordinated by Brecon United Church's Mission and Outreach Committee, is bringing these conversations forward to ease some of the shock and stress that ripples out to loved ones at times of illness and parting. One of my favorite uh, poet uh, and authors once said um, that our death has always walked beside us ever since the day we were born. And, and I think it's a profound statement to, to share. This is something that is, is real for every single person, young or old. None of us really think we're old, and we think that advanced care planning is an old person's issue, and it's not. It's intimidating for all of us, and the more knowledge we have about it, the more likely we are to do something about it and start pre-planning. I see this happening more with people in their 70s and 80s, and yet I think it's absolutely relevant for, uh, for younger people. So I look at advanced care planning as, as giving a real gift to your family and your loved ones. Regardless of age, there's a lot to think about with end-of-life preparation, including legal consideration, such as a will, power of attorney, and even wishes around future medical treatment. Having a lawyer or having a notary guide you through it is super helpful. In the province of BC, anyone over the age of 19, anyone who is legally an adult, can prepare these documents and have them in place. If the wishes are clearly written, legally written, then there's less chance of misinterpretation. On the flip side of legal preparation, there's also spiritual considerations. I've come to see how spirituality can help people navigate that very difficult time uh, towards the end of their life and how uh, the more people are um, spiritually well, uh, they can come to that place in their life uh, in a better way. Also helping to prepare that final journey are funeral homes, and there is more to consider than simply cremation or burial. Call the different funeral homes. There's only three in Nanaimo, so it's, you can call the different funeral homes and find out uh, how the funeral homes can help you out. If I can get one thing across to people, it's, it's to become more comfortable with uh, realizing that a death is gonna occur at some time, hopefully much later than sooner, but a death is gonna occur and to not be afraid of funeral homes and funeral directors. I think sometimes there's a, a big pressure uh, on, on what it looks like to die well. And, uh, you know, I've seen lots of people from various traditions uh, die in different ways. And, and that's the reality. Everybody is unique, and, and your parting uh, from this world will be just as unique as you. Just the, like every baby comes into this world in a certain way, we're, we're all going to leave it in a certain way as well. We can't predict how people are going to be affected by death. Everybody's journey through grief is different, but you know, the journey does happen. We will have four evenings over the next uh, four weeks. Brecon United Church will be hosting four weekly conversational evenings beginning on Tuesday, April 14th. So if you have questions on topics that range from preparing legal documents to preparing a memorial service, the Planning Your Final Wishes series may have the answers you need. It is our gift to the community and it is open to anyone who would like to come and uh, just delve a little bit into these topics. In Nanaimo, I'm Derek Johnstone. And we need to bring death and dying out of the closet.